Hello and welcome to this preview of all the action to take place this coming Saturday, New Year's Eve at 1pm. We have action from both the Premier Division and League One and it should be an entertaining few games. It's Eagle Sports against Style. Both sides sit at the bottom of the Premier Division, both slightly higher than Garswood, but it is going to be a close affair between the two sides. Eagle Sports come into this game off the back of a 6-0 defeat earlier in the week at home to point and style in their last away game lost 5-0 to Wigginshaw Town at Erickson Park both sides have a habit of leaking goals and this could see the game be go one of two ways it could either be all one-sided or we could see plenty of goals from both sides both sides sit on the same number of points, but it's Eagle Sports with the superior goal difference, which puts them above style in the table. They also have three games in hand. Linotype Cheadle Heath now went against Denton Town in what would have been the rerun of Tuesday's game had Tuesday's game not been postponed. The game sees Lino with plenty of games in hand over the teams ahead of them, and they currently sit. In sixth place in the table, only a few points behind Congleton Vale and Altrincham Reserves. Denton Town sits in ninth with a number of games in hand themselves. This is going to be an attacking game. Both sides score plenty of goals and it should be an entertaining game nonetheless. We will have match highlights of that game up probably by Saturday. Our next game is Poynton versus Ruddy Social. Poynton come into this game in 7th, only 2 points behind Cheadle in 6th, and they are on form. In the last 2 games they have been... In their last 2 games alone they have scored 10 goals and only conceded 1. They beat Eagle Sports 6-0 in their last outing, and before that beat their opponents on Saturday, Ruddy Social, in the Cup, to move themselves into the final. Rudheath aren't as fortunate in their last two games. They have lost, obviously, a way to Poynton in the Cup, as well as a way to Congleton Vale, as Billinge take on Edgerton at home. Edgerton's last outing saw them beat West Didsbury and Chalton Reserve 6-3 at home, whereas Billinge's last outing saw them lose 2-1 to AFC Macclesfield. Billings sit in third position while Edgerton are stuck in mid-table. Billings are really hoping that they can get themselves into some winning form as they have a number of games in hand over Warrington Town Reserves at the top of the table. Again, like the last game, this one seems like a game that seemed one-sided on paper, but you never know, this could throw up some surprises with both teams showing the possibility of scoring plenty of goals. Our well, final game sees Haleback take on Golden Sports and it is looking like this is going to be a fairly close game. There is just one place separating them in the league and both sides seem to score plenty of goals. Haleback in their last outing drew 5 all with Middlewich Town. Goldborn's last game they lost 2-1 at home's FC St Helens. The game, like all of us, should be fairly entertaining, and if you can't find yourself anything to do this New Year's Eve, before you celebrate the New Year, then feel free to go to these games and give your support. That is our roundup for the weekend, and our last roundup of the year, so let us know in the comments which games you will be attending, and what you are most looking forward to for your team this year.